Are electric fences dangerous? You may have seen electric fences in movies where somebody touches an electric fence, becomes stuck, and then is continuously shocked by the electric fence. From such an image, you'd probably assume that electric fences are actually quite dangerous, especially combining those type of media images with what you know about shock dangers from power outlets. So how then does an electric fence not kill people, or animals, who don't know to avoid them? Most people have never seen an electric fence in action, and only have a home electric system to compare it to. But an electric fence is a completely different beast, which explains why it works as well as it does to provide a safe deterrent to any animal. But let's get into exactly how it does this. The reason that electric fences deliver a nasty yet almost completely harmless shock is due to two factors. First, electric fences use high voltage but low amperage with numbers that range between 15 to 500 milliamps, which is a small fraction of the amperage used to power machinery and utensils, such as a cooker, which may draw up to 30 amps. The second reason that an electric fence is non-lethal is because the current is pulsed and not constant. The pulsating current in electric fences is safer than a continuous supply because it allows animals or people to remove themselves from the source of the electricity. The muscle contraction caused by the shock is transitory, which means non-permanent and the affected animal or person can retreat from the fence. In contrast, continuous supply electricity results in a grabbing effect that can be dangerous and makes it impossible to release the source of the current. The two final considerations with electric fences is the proper use of insulators and keeping the electric wire clear. Insulators keep the electric fence wires away from the fence, which is often also metal, and could become electrified if there were a cracked or missing insulator. This could also create short circuits, which could render your fence less effective, or if it's monitored in some way, could create false alarms. Keeping the wire clear involves ensuring weeds and brush are not laying on the fence, thereby drawing current away from the fence. This could short out the fence, or simply make the fence weaker and less effective as a deterrent for animals. Now with all this explained, let's check out a video of an electric shock and go over the things we just discussed. All right. Let's see. Maybe the rubber. Oh, sweet Carlton's ghost. Okay, <laughs> so there is a bit of a shock there. <laughs> sweet Carlton's ghost. <laughs> okay, yep. Okay, so there is a bit of a shock. Um, I would describe it as uh, a static charge on steroids. That's what it felt like. So what we see here is me touching the wire right now. Now, as you can see, there's no immediate shock. And that's what we were talking about with the pulse. There's a delay, and there it is. But as you can tell, I was able to let go of the wire. And once again, that's due to the pulsing. It's not a constant current. There is a charge flowing through it, but it's only sometimes. So there I am getting zapped again. And that is exactly what we're talking about with the safety of the fence and what makes it so safe. I would describe it as uh, a static charge on steroids. That's what it felt like.